What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't been uh, too active these past couple of days, but the channel's been doing pretty good. I, I really appreciate the views we've been getting. I got a very, very slight shout out from Aaron Cybertron Zang on his live stream the other day, so I really appreciate all of you who have come from his uh, Twitch channel. You guys are amazing. Really appreciate Aaron. But yeah, today we're going to be testing out uh, Rillaboom on a Colossal team, and this team isn't completely optimized. In fact, it's slightly thrown together. Uh, the reason being I've been super, super busy. I actually started my online summer classes uh, for the summer, and between that I'm also going to work and I need to exercise a lot. So uh, yeah, I don't have as much time for videos, but please bear with me as I try to navigate my schedule in a way that allows me to get content out for you guys. I really appreciate your support. It's always amazing how, we, how much you guys... Uh, support me on my content so if you guys want to do me a favor leave a like on this video let's try to shoot 400 likes on this basically the whole gist of this is Rillaboom is an excellent partner for Colossal because one of the best ways of dealing with Colossal is Earthquake coming off of Excadrill it's super effective uh, versus Colossal it's times four super effective in fact and it can't be redirected by anything like uh, like follow me from Togekiss making it super super reliable if you're in the sand to uh, outspeed the Colossal and get some damage off uh, but Rillaboom actually throws a wrench in that because with Grassy Surge it'll activate the Grassy Terrain, cutting the damage that everything takes from moves like Earthquake or Magnitude, as unpopular as Magnitude is, they decide to make that affect it, um, which makes it so Colossal is able to tank that hit a lot more easily. And we're running just standard Surf Dragapult next to it. I'm decided to run a Focus Sash on it because it makes it a lot easier to get my um, it makes it a lot easier to get my Surf off in case I end up in a Dragapult speed tie. Um, Rillaboom, by the way, is Assault Vest Rillaboom, Fake Out, Knock Off, U-Turn, Woodhammer. U-Turn is strictly for board positioning reason reasonings, but I could also try to run a ground move on there if I wanted to. I prefer U-Turn, though. It's really nice. Um, we're able to outspeed Max B Togekiss, which lets us, you know, pivot out of there. Uh, Knock Off is meant to remove things like Weakness Policy from Pokemon or uh, Eevee Light from Dusclops. We're not able to one-shot Lapras uh, with Woodhammer if it Dynamaxes. However, uh, because of the Assault Vest, we're able to go for a knockoff into the Lapras, removing the Weakness Policy, then KOing it next turn with Woodhammer if they allow us that opportunity. Or if we end up just going for the knockoff, we can U-turn out or just KO it with a super effective move and not have to worry about the Weakness Policy, which is super, super nice. We actually take the uh, we actually take G-Max Resonance from uh, Modest Max Special Attack Lapras coming off of Freeze Drive. Colossal is just uh, EV enough to outspeed uh, Jolly Max Speed Excadrill at plus two or in Sand. Standard 252 Dragapult. Uh, we're using a very bulky Safety Goggles Tokus because I'm concerned about Venusaur spam. Safety Goggles makes it so we're able to follow me away any Sleep Powders and whatnot. Uh, normally I'd run a Berry Berry on this set, but I didn't feel like retooling it. In fact, this team was so basic when I was done building it uh, that I actually looked at Gastron and I said, yeah, I'm going to steal a set from Picolytics instead. <laughs> so I stole a set from Picolytics. It's just Earth Power, Muddy Water, Recover, Protect. I almost dropped Recover for Icy Wind because that speed control is super important for Colossal, uh, but decided not to in the end. I thought Recover was super nice. We're running Flame Orb Conkleder for a couple of reasons. It helps us with that sleep issue versus Sun Teams, uh, and it also punishes Trick Room. You know, if we end up facing um, Rhyperior or uh, Lapras or Tyranitar, uh, Flame Orb Conkleder is a very, very good check to that. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, be sure to leave a like and, uh, and subscribe for more Pokemon content. I almost fumbled on my words right there, but let's get into it. Now, I did play with this team a little bit. All of my games felt extremely out of my control, but I think I'm used to playing uh, Colossal again. Uh, a lot of people say Colossus is a super brain dead strat, but if you play with it a little bit, you understand that a lot of people know what to do versus it in higher ladder, uh, which is why we're playing on lower ladder today. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't feel like trying. That means I'm probably going to lose a lot this session, but it seems we're facing Dragapult, Incineroar, Whimsicott, Duraldon, uh, Conkledur, and Dracovish. Uh, that means that Gastron is 100% coming to this game. 100%. And... I mean, Togas isn't a bad option either. I'm thinking here I can actually lead off Dragapult Togas. And bring Colossal in the back. I think Colossal is going to be important to winning this match. Uh, and I think my last Pokemon is 100% going to have to be Gastrodon. So no real boom this game. Real booms for particular matchups. Here, I will actually... I could straight up eliminate that Dracovish right now, and I really, really want to. I really, really do. Um, but I think it'd be in my best interest just to go for the, um, just to go for the Dragon Darts. 
get a little bit of chip damage and switch in my Gastron on. Or maybe, no, that makes no sense. Let me get in Gastron and go for Dazzling Gleam. It'll get me chip on both of these Pokemon and I shouldn't take any damage at the end of this turn. It's very unlikely they go for a Grass move and a Dragapult unless they try to make that read. Uh, but what this will do is it'll redirect the uh, Water move into the Gastrodon. And if they ended up going for Moonblast, it would have done very, very negligible damage. I'm also going to be doing about half to this Dracovish while chipping that Whimsicott for its Focus Sash. And Dracovish is locked because I'm pretty certain that that was Choice Scarf. And they forfeit. We did it, guys. We beat Dracovish, like the, the brain-dead Pokemon that... Honestly, Dracovish has a little bit of nuance to it. You need to know when to play it, like when to bring it to a game. There are certain matchups that auto-lose to Dracovish, which is super nice, but we are not one of those teams. All right, so this is Sun with Leafeon. Uh, does Leafeon get Sleep Powder? I'm a little bit concerned about that. I'm a little bit concerned. Uh, Leafeon. Sleep Powder. It does not. Okay, that's nice. I figured I would have seen it by now if it had it. Uh, people would have chosen it over Venusaur at the beginning of the season, and I didn't send that. There we go. GIHF. So, um, Defiant isn't something we need to worry about this match. In fact... They have a pretty awful Colossal matchup, if I if I do say so myself. I might actually just lead off with... Um, I definitely need Togus in the lead. I'll give it that. Kind of want to bring Dragapult. We'll do Colossal Dragapult with Togus in the back. And, hmm. Do I want to bring Rillaboom, Gastron, or Conkler? Rillaboom doesn't have too much of a place in this matchup. It's versus Sun. Gastrodon struggles a bit. I'll bring Conkler, just because it's nice, versus the possible uh, Obstagoon lead. And we end up seeing uh, Hatterene. So, what I can do here is I can get in my Togekiss. And I'm thinking that I can just max Phantasm here. So I'm not going to be able to use max Colossal, which is a little bit disappointing. However, Colossal in the endgame could end up coming in handy. Uh, I just want to get rid of Hatterene. Hopefully it's not Focus Sash. This should be doing a decent amount of damage. And it's Sash. Okay. Well, that didn't turn out well for us at all. Let me go ahead and go for this Dazzling Gleam into the into both of their Pokemon. I'll go for my Max Guard to stall to turn Trick Room, and also because I'm pretty certain that they're going to want to target into Dragapult with that Dazzling Gleam. Heavy Slam shouldn't be doing too much, and he ends up whiffing his Rock Slide into Tokus, which is super, super nice. I'm thinking here I'm going to end up going for Max Phantasm because all of his Pokemon are super fast except for Torkoal. He ends up bringing the Torkoal, and ooh, I actually have an opportunity to make Colossal Fast here. I have a pretty good opportunity to make Colossal Fast. Tokus won't be able to take this hit, but I'd rather have Tokus take it than anything else. So let's go for an Air Slash and a Torkoal for damage, and I'm actually going to go for this Max Warm Wind uh, to lower the damage output from Dragapult. Ooh, Tokus actually took the hit. And the Rock Slide, that's going to do it. Uh, I can get in Conkledur now. Conkledur can go for this Mock Punch into the. Or actually, I'll uh, Detect and I'll go for Protect here. They still have in Dynamax, which is super, super concerning. But judging on where they end up targeting their ground move here uh, will determine where I switch in Colossal next turn. Or I could even like attempt to Surf or something. I could I could definitely attempt to Surf. He's at minus one for his Mudsdale. Ends up going for the Heat Wave. Where's that ground move going? That ground move is going into Dragapult. Um... Yikes, okay, I could attempt this. I don't think I take the hit, though, because that's a really, really strong heat wave. I'm going to go for it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it, see if it works out for us, because I can still Solar Beam. There's my four times speed. He ends up whiffing, that's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing, and I get a Solar Beam off now. I can go for Dragon Darts, and I think Solar Beam and a Dragon Darts will do it. Uh, on, on Mudsdale, which is super nice. Oh, we got so lucky there. We got so lucky. There's a Solar Beam, plus two. We are going to KO that thing after Dragon Darts. Nice. And in comes the Conkleder. If there is a Charizard in the back, it is the Big Dead, because it is not going to take this hit. I don't think it's going to take the hit. Yeah, I definitely don't think Charizard's going to be able to take this. As it's Leafeon. Uh, Leafeon has double speed under the sun, however, we can just say no to that. Let me go for this Detect. I don't know what move he's going to want to go for, but he's definitely going to Dynamax. Um, probably Max Knuckle or something. Go for this Protect. As he protects himself. 
There's the Max Quake, okay. So I definitely made a good choice trying to uh, dodge that thing. Let me go ahead and go for this Heat Wave into the Leafeon as well as a Poison Jab. This is going to be a really close endgame. But I am faster than Leafeon now. He could protect and go for like um, Earth Power, but it seems he doesn't want to. There's the Max Quake. I'm going to knock this thing out with the Poison Jab. And then Torkoal is within Drain Punch range and I win. Nice. Okay. Uh, and yes, Torkoal is 100% slower than us. So uh, let's go ahead and end this game with a nice Drain Punch here. Good game, bro. Good game. Why are you protecting? What do you think you're doing here? What do, what do you expect to achieve from that? Drain Punch. Get, get him out of here, man. Get him out of here. Yeah, that high, ho that high horsepower thing might have might have won us that match, but I'm I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's just the luck of the draw with Pokemon. It, it'd be like that, man. It, it'd really be like that. <laughs> okay. So um, this is a game where Rillaboom really actually does a lot of work. Uh, Rillaboom is able to deal with the Primarina as well as the Dracovish in a way. Fake out's gonna be super nice. Um, what I could do is lead off Dragapult Colossal. Bring Gastrodon on the back for those water moves. And do I want to bring Rillaboom? I mean, I haven't used him yet and I really want to. I really do, but yeah, well, yeah, we'll bring Rillaboom. We'll bring Rillaboom. Okay, never mind. I, I really regret bringing Rillaboom. That was a bad choice. Let me think. I think I just lose, man. <laughs> I think I just lose. Uh, let me go for this Dragon Darts into the Conkledar, hoping for the best. And uh, I'll just G-Max Vocalith into Togekiss. <laughs> we're just... We're actually... Yeah, why, why did I do that, actually? Why did I do that when I could have surfed? I could have surfed, bro. I'm stupid. I'm big stupid, in fact. Like, major stupid. Like, the amount of stupidity it took me to not go for surf right there was insane. Absolutely insane. Um, however... Did I knock out this Tokus of Woodhammer? Probably not. Probably not. Did already get my Vocalith off. Let's just go for it. <laughs> we knock out that thing. Um, gonna get the sun up here. I didn't give my, my thing any kind of speed boost. Any kind of speed boost at all. Um, I should be able to get in Gastron here though. And Max Flare is probably going to knock out that Grim Snarl. Yeah, I play that so stupid, but I might win anyways. <laughs> I might win anyways. Um, yeah, I'm going to get my weakness policy probably. G-Max Vocalith, beautiful. And he's going to get knocked out by his own Vocalith. Let me get him Rillaboom on this turn. Uh, and I'll even go for a Protect here. Because I don't want either of us to get Steam Engine. Or I don't want him to get Weakness Policy. Yeah. So the way I win this is by getting Gastrodon in at the same time as Rillaboom. So I can fake out Earth Power. I could Solar Beam for damage. I'll Solar Beam for damage. All right. Oh, that actually KO'd us. That's really annoying. That's really annoying. <laughs> um, probably not faster. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that. Um, I should protect here. And did we? Ad All right. Yeah, I am probably faster than him right now. Like with my own colossal. I'll solar beam again. I'm gonna have to go for like. I'm gonna have to like go for um ancient power to win the game. We actually tank it, but we end up dying. Yeah, here's my uh, here's my ancient power. He's gonna hit me back. He's got earthquake, bro. Why are you running earthquake, dude? Why do we keep getting lucky, bro? Why do we keep it? Good game, man. Good game. Like if all of all the moves you could have run to beat me, yet honestly, I should have gone for another solar beam right there. Like that, I, I actually realized as soon as I clicked solar beam. Um, there we go. I wasn't full screen. I realized as soon as I clicked um, Ancient Power, like, wait a minute, he's getting his weakness policy. <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah, guys, I'm not that smart. Why are you guys following me on YouTube, man? How low ladder are we? This is my alternate account. 
Telemundo Univision, if you guys see me, if you guys see me on, bro, what? Oh, that's why, because I play so many BS teams on Telemundo Univision that my win rate is, that I literally have 92 losses on this account. One day I'll play on my main. I, I usually only play on my main, like, when I'm alone and I actually care about the team I'm making, but that's pretty rare nowadays. Uh, Colossal absolutely destroys this team, like, 100%. Slightly concerned about Cramorant, but beyond that, not too bad, not too bad. I'm thinking here, uh, we can pretty effectively lead off Colossal Dragapult once more. Uh, I'll actually bring my Rillaboom this game. Actually, he has a couple of Rillaboom checks, that isn't the best. We should bring Conkler in the off chance that he ends up being Gigantamax, Snorlax, and Gastrodon. Okay, uh, so it seems like he just wants me to win. Unless he's running max dig. Bro, if he's running max dig, I'm going to be real upset. I'm going to be real upset if he's running max dig. Don't you dare Dynamax that ninjask. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, man. If you Dynamax that ninjask, you're going to be banned from my channel. Don't you do it, man. All right. He's not doing it. He ends up going for the protect. There's the trick. Um... Lagging tail. Okay, so Colossal's always going to be slow. Colossal's always going to be slow, but I don't think I care that much now. I get my rocks up. I'm good. Uh, Ninjask is going down this turn. Probably going to go for Night Slash. I'll get in my Conkle around that. Or actually, mm, he could go for Play Rough. I'll get in Gastrodon. I'll go for Vocalith. Yeah, because I don't earn much from getting... Um, I don't earn much from going for... Um, Flare right now. What's he getting in? Cramorant? I don't know if I agree with that. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate, man. That's unfortunate. Let me go for um, another Max Flare. Oh, did I click Vocal? I meant to click Flare, man. I meant to click Flare. I could have KO'd that thing. Go for the Muddy Water. He goes for a trick. Thank you for the weakness policy, I guess. There's the muddy water. And I end up KOing that thing. And now we got four times speed, but we're always going last. Always going last, man. How's it feel, Colossal? Getting lagging tailed. You literally got lagging tailed, man. I'll go for this uh, heat wave, because either one should KO the Ninjask at this point. And Earth Power seriously messes up that Salazzle. So if it's Focus Sash Salazzle, we're good. Dude, low ladder is a crazy environment, man. Why am I playing such low ladder? This is the max use. That's not going to KO me. I resist that. There's the earth power. Sash. And Colossal wins. Yay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, good game. Good game. I don't like it. Low ladder is a crazy place, man. I, I might switch over to my main. Is my main even that much higher? My main isn't even that much higher, but... For the last game, I'll switch over to my main. <laughs> I just really wanted to try out Rillaboom. This was more of a testing session than anything, but, but you know. There we go. All right, let's switch over to the main. Okay, I've just been informed I actually have to head out for a couple minutes here. So instead of actually doing some uh, games on my main account, I'll just leave it there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I apologize for the low ladder games. I didn't realize how low this account was, but... Thank you for watching. I appreciate all you guys. Let me know what you guys think about Rillaboom in the comment section down below. Uh, and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Have a nice night and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace.